Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Big day today. It's my last full day in Italy and I'm heading west towards France. Arrivederci. And I found a park up, hopefully I'll get to stay at just close to the border and head over the border tomorrow. I don't really know how long I've been in Italy, probably five weeks, something like that. And I've really enjoyed being here, but I'm looking forward now to something a bit different. This road, I have been up and down like a yo-yo and the van hates it going up. Second gear the whole way. And then whenever you get to the top, it always costs you money because there's a toll. <laughs> but Italy's quite cheap for tolls compared to some of the other places I've been. kilometers ahead of me which should take about an hour the last sort of 10 kilometers is coast road and if the coast roads I've seen in northern Italy have been anything to go by it'll be worth the effort and it is effort because quite often they're hard to drive on this tunnel is one of hundreds and I'm not exaggerating that I've drove through in the last few days right up the coast and across very mountainous tunnels everywhere and massively high bridges that bridge that's the road I've just come off heading down onto the coast how we mind this big it's doing all right this is fairly steep hill go for it big fella Now here's one, look, he's got all the gear on. Thinks he's in the Tour de France. Only joking for any of you cyclists out there. The area that I picked to park up is a town right on the coast. Actually a car park that I found on Park for Night. So as we've learned in previous times, sometimes you get to the park ups and for whatever reason they're not suitable. Let's hope it is. And I'm gonna stay there for tonight. Ah, this is lovely. I love places like this. Summery, and a good vibe. Of course, this, that's the sun brings out the good vibe, isn't it? Everywhere looks great in the sun, but this is beautiful. So the car parks up here somewhere on the right. This is it. I already knew about that wee market. Let's hope for somewhere to park. Yeah. This will do me here, for now. Engine off, looks good. So, last day in Italy. French border that way, not very far at all. Got water for the dogs. This sweet place is stunning. Good weather's back after a few bad days. And I'm just hoping that we can stay there overnight. There's no other camper vans and in my experience that hasn't been a good sign. There's a market, I knew the market was going on, it ends at two. Let it clear up and I'll have a wee walk around and just hopefully I can stay there tonight. It's perfect for the last night. Maybe even get a nice sunset tonight. Plus the fact the water, we've walked the way out. And not too deep for the dogs. Look at Molly, she's just wanting throw, throw something, throw. What do you want, Molly? So that's the market and they're clearing up. So I'm gonna have a look. You have to do all these things just to make sure you're not doing anything stupid and the police don't come along in the middle of the night, which you do read about in the reviews quite a lot in some of these places. So we look about, go back, look at the reviews and see if anyone's complained. cracking spot. That would be a nice place there, big place. Problem with where I'm sitting now, I'm at, you take up two beds, you go to a supermarket or whatever, lengthwise you take up a couple. Mm -hmm. 
So tomorrow, France and Monaco. I've always wanted to go and see Monaco, but what I'm discovering about it is there's no motorhome or campsite places. So I found a place hopefully that I can park up on the edge of Monaco and then I'll just go into the town and spend a few hours and then carry on down the coast to a campsite somewhere in France. So I'll set off early tomorrow morning. It's not very far, but to give myself as much time as I feel I want when I do get into Monaco and to give me enough time to leave and go elsewhere. I've also my first border to cross tomorrow in a long time and I hated crossing the borders, but I can't imagine it's going to be too difficult. Italy to France. The next morning. Strange day today. So when I woke up, all prepared for France, Monaco, coffee, fed the dogs, got washed, started the engine, phone rang, turned the engine off. It's the dentist in Sofia, where I'm going in July. <laughs> I have a cancellation for June, four weeks time, instead of nine weeks time. Would I like that cancellation? Go and get my, my dental work finished. So I immediately said yes. And then I thought all the plans in the last video, this video all about going to France. So then I realized I would have to go back the way I came. Then I realized I'd have to go back, might as well go back to the campsite it was at yesterday. So that's what I'm doing. And I've got a month which is enough time to cut across to Croatia which is my original plan nothing ever happens the way I say it's going to happen but I'm sort of chuffed because I can get my dental work done and then go into France and Spain and not have to worry about coming back I'm in this lovely wee city on the coast and I thought while I was here I would go in and see if I can get a SIM card because the last one that I got had the same one twice, supposed to be 300 gig, first one lasted a whole month, second one lasted I don't know how long it is, maybe two weeks, but it was I didn't use all the gig and it just stopped working so I couldn't be bothered trying to sort it out. Their website or their app is all in Italian and I couldn't get it to be English. So anyway, so I decided to try Vodafone because I have Vodafone on my phone and my data is on that. That's what I put the SIM card for the data. I tried Vodafone there and Italy is very cheap. So 20 euro in total for 100 gigabyte. And I think that'll do me a month. An hour later. Done. Photophone shop, Photophone SIM, data SIM, 100 gig, 20 euro. Supposed to be able to use it anywhere in Europe. So that's a good deal. Let's go onward and upward, back to the campsite I was in the day before yesterday. <laughs> day but nice day some beautiful places along the coast I'm back in the campsite and I'm gonna stay here a couple of days I'm in no hurry now a few things to do in the van my in the van you have a winder that opens the roof not working things just just old you know things just break occasionally so I have to fix that and a few other bits and pieces but Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe, it'd be great. Thumbs up, it'd be great. The comments, even better. But until next time, bye for now.